I fell in love with playing music when I was a little kid and it just always seemed to be something that I wanted to get better at and better at. I started playing piano when I was little and uh, it just always was like a companion in a way and it always uh, helped me out and uh, made me feel kind of peace, I guess. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of fell into it. I just, I, I loved it from the start and then I just kept doing it. And then at some point, um, it's just a, a part of what you do all the time, I think. This is, um, I built this building as my uh, music room, music space. It's a place for me to kind of get away and, and do writing. It's not really a, a studio necessarily. It's more just for being creative and playing music with people. My my great uncle John, who was a hero of mine, brought that that particular painting home from uh, from Russia. I think he rolled it up. And uh, he cut it out of the frame and rolled it up and brought it back to me and gave it to me at one point. Um, so yeah, some of these mean a lot to me and some of them are just pretty things that I found. A lot of them are things that I've carried around for years and years and like they're each one of them, maybe not all of them, but most of them are really special uh, and like spark serious memories for me and can, can lead to ideas for songs or just emotion that might lead to a song. So things like, um, this is my old, uh, when I lived outside, in, I lived in Nashville um, when I was like 19 or something, and uh, in this huge house right next to Belmont College. Um, none of us went to college, but we, uh, I was there with like seven people and we were all a bunch of artists and musicians, and uh, it was kind of like just a flop house. and. Uh, we kind of left town when we couldn't come up with rent anymore. And on the way out, I popped this off the front of the house. Don't tell my landlord. I, I, for me, I think space and, and my environment and and the amount of uh, just personal space that I can get. My my creative path depends on that. Like I, I need to have that. So I, I need to have a little quiet place to go or a cabin to go into or, um, but then I kind of like set up where I, where I live as, you know, an extension of that because I just felt the need to have uh, a little more room all the time. I didn't want to be around people constantly. I like to seek out company rather than have it just be mandatory. The environment that I'm in and uh, if I'm alone, I can really like dive into that, into the creative part of my brain and, and get like my best work done. I played at um Pete Seeger's 90th birthday party at Madison Square Garden. And uh, so I just thought I would put together a little poster. So I did ended up doing that. And these are like, you know, old block letters that I laid out and, you know, I think I was drying it out like two nights before uh, the show. They might've been still wet when I tried to transport them up to New York for the show. Yeah, I love it. I love getting, I love like carving it and then inking it up and getting ink on your hands and just, you know, the smell of that old letterpress machine is super, uh, yeah, just I love that whole environment and the, the whole process, like this kind of stuff. Trying to be a creative person has just been something I also just fell into. Like, I don't know if I ever like was 
it just seemed like something that I had to do, and I don't really know why. Like, I don't really know, um, you know, what what makes me want to create something, whether it be like a visual piece of art or or a piece of music or um, I just think I just felt like I had to do that. Like it was just something that I wanted to have be part of my life. Maybe I just don't want to get a, a real job. That might be it. <laughs>